After being surrounded in the art space since the age of 14, I've come to realize that there are a lot of myths and just ridiculous things people tell artists and artists believe. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing the worst things you could possibly believe as an artist so you can switch your mind and then you can get on the right track and we can focus on making actual sales and succeeding in the art space. If you don't know who I am, my name is Gerald Henry. I'm the founder of Artist Rise. And in the last three years, I've been helping artists hit some pretty cool numbers online by the way i don't have anything to sell you in this video i just want to provide as much value as possible in hopes that you want to watch more videos from me with that being said let's jump straight into the video so i'm not going to waste any time and we want to get into number one one a big mistake is believing that galleries is the best route to go down to make consistent art sales or build a long-term art career now here's the thing 10 15 years ago galleries was the best route mainly because there wasn't any options. You didn't have the resources you had today, so galleries became the resource. You see, you understood that as long as I put my artwork in a gallery, people that was gonna see my artwork will potentially purchase, and then it's worthwhile. On the flip side, I have to get the gallery 50%. Is it worth it? I'm not here to say it's not, maybe so at the time, but the biggest thing that artists are not understanding in current time is that things have shifted. You see, we used to put our artwork in galleries because galleries was the resource to get you in front of the buyers. But now we have social media. So with that being said, the same people that's going to that gallery to see the artwork is also online. So it makes the gallery no longer to be a need. When a gallery is no longer a need, you could keep the 50% you was giving away to the gallery and just pocket it for yourself, which is a phenomenal thing. But you have to understand this. You have to understand that you have to find out how to get in front of your buyers yourself, which once you're able to do this, it's going to literally open a floodgates to success because here's the biggest difference versus working with a gallery and not. When working with a gallery, you might make the sales, but you're only getting 50% of pay. However, the big problem is that the people you're selling artwork to, you would never ever know. So you become owned by the gallery. Because here's the thing, the data gallery feel like they no longer need you. The data gallery decide to go to different artists and kick you to the curve. You will be at ground zero. You will be at square one. You will basically be a new artist in the industry all over again. And you don't want to put your eggs in that basket because what if things don't work out? You probably have a family at home, so you probably be doing well, but if that gallery decides to not work with you, you're screwed. On the other hand, building your own career just using social media, that allows you to make the sale today, keep 100% of the income, as well as build for tomorrow because a person that purchased today will most likely be willing to come back and purchase again, or even better, tell a friend that could also tell another friend, which is freaking phenomenal. So you get to build a long-term art career while making art sales currently. This is why I always say you should focus on building your own art career independently instead of working with a gallery. The pros just stack on top of one another. So with that being said, if you wanna build the artwork independently, you probably have to figure out your pricing. And that leads to point number two. One of the worst things artists believe is that when they price their artwork, they should price it based on the amount of time it took them to complete the artwork or square inch. And that's ridiculous. Imagine if it took you 100 hours to complete the work and you tell a buyer, it took me 100 hours. I need to charge 20,000 for this piece. Now, from your end, that sounds freaking fantastic, right? But let's just reverse it and let's just switch around a bit. Imagine if it only took you one hour. Would you tell that buyer, hey, this only took me an hour, just give me 20 bucks? Of course not, because you're not pricing your artwork based on your time. If you was pricing based on time, you'll go get a nine to five job. More importantly, you pricing your artwork based on value, based on quality, based on beauty. It's like clothing. When you go into a Louis Vuitton store, you don't ask how long it took to make the purse. You don't even care who made the purse. You pay because of the beauty and the quality of the piece. And that's the same for your artwork. So you price your artwork whether it took an hour, 10 hours, or 20 hours, or 2,000 hours. You price based on the quality of the finished product because it's a product at that point. And here's the third thing. When it comes to pricing, a lot of artists believe the main reason they're not succeeding is because of the price. And that's far from the truth. You see, when you find the right buyer, 
who genuinely loves your work and resonate with your work, they would never worry about how much it may cost. Let's go back to the purse at Louis Vuitton. A person who don't value the brand Louis Vuitton would see a $3,000 purse as expensive. However, the right customer who aligns with the brand and resonate with the brand would never argue about the $3,000 price tag. And this goes the same for your artwork. Stop focusing on trying to find the right price for your work because the price isn't the problem. The problem is you don't have the right buyer. The right buyer would be willing to pay the wrong price if it resonates with them. I'll give you an example. How many times you seen something in the store that you really, really, really loved and you knew it was too expensive. You knew you probably shouldn't be purchasing it. You knew you probably could put your money somewhere else and you still decide, you know what? I'm gonna just get it anyway. And you still make that purchase. You make the purchase because you're the right buyer. Even if the price was the wrong price, even when you knew that purse was too expensive, you still left with the purse because you was the right customer. So I want you to understand that you should stop focusing on trying to find the right price for your work and more importantly, focus on finding the right buyers. Now, four, a big misconception of our space is that you shouldn't worry about how much money you make. This is probably the one thing that irks my nerves more than anything because it's been so badly spread through the art space that artists is even starting to believe that they shouldn't worry about how much money they make, which is absolutely ridiculous because this world do not move and generate based on water. You need income to survive. And that's just how the world works. You see, people say, if you're an artist, you should create artwork because you're passionate. You love it. You shouldn't worry about how much money you make. And that's ridiculous. Because here's the thing, the guy who goes study school for 14 years to become a doctor doesn't become a doctor because of the money. Yes, he won a lot of money and that's completely fine, but he become a doctor because he wanna save lives. The little kid that focused on playing football his whole entire life to try to become a pro football player doesn't play football for the money. It's because he's passionate about football. The musician who create beautiful music and work on a craft every single day to become a professional musician doesn't create music because they weren't about much money they make. They care and they're passionate about their craft. However, they're still rewarded with a ton of money and they see the money as a beautiful thing. You see, in the art space, artists have been told they shouldn't worry about money because the less you worry about money as the artist, the more everyone else get the profit around you. You never hear a gallery say that they're not worried about the money. Why? Because if I get you to believe as an artist that you should not worry about how much money you make, I get to charge you 50% because money not as important to you anyway. Let that sink in for a second. And now that that's sunk in, I'm saying this to say, understand that the amount of money you make is important and you should want a lot of it because the more you have, the more you're able to do. Whether that's give to others, go on vacation, take care of your family, put your kids in private school, whatever you choose to do is up to you. But the amount of money you make is important and you should want it and you should be proud of it because that's a beautiful thing. Being able to provide for your loved ones and live a comfortable, beautiful lifestyle on your own terms is a beautiful thing no matter if you a sports player, a doctor, or a visual artist. With that being said, let me recap. It's a misconception that galleries is the best route because now we have social media which replaces galleries and allow you to keep 100% of your income while building your art career for the long term. Pricing your artwork based on square inch and how long it takes to complete the artwork is completely ridiculous because someone could create the same artwork that you created and do it at half the time but charge 10 times more. Why? Because they're pricing their artwork based on value, quality, and beauty. Three, pricing isn't the problem. The problem that you're having is that you're not in front of the right buyers. Once you get your artwork in front of the right buyers, you'll see yourself making more sales. Four, Thinking that you shouldn't worry about the amount of money you make as an artist will only lead to you working to a nine to five job that you hate, which leads to depression. The amount of money you make is crucial. It's very important. So chase it and be confident in the numbers that you want to achieve and see it as a beautiful thing because earning income doing what you love is a phenomenal freaking thing. You will not see a successful artist on earth, whether that's Damien Hirsch, Jeff Koons, James Jean, Calls, or any other artist that makes over a million dollars a year say, 
that they would change anything when it comes to them making how much money they make. They see the income as a beautiful thing. It allowed them to create bigger artwork, give back, and do a lot of other cool stuff. With that being said, if you found this video valuable, I also want to tell you about the successful things you could do to set yourself up for success as quickly as possible. And these are things I've learned from my most successful artists that make 10,000 or more per month. So I'm gonna put a link here so you can watch that video and I'll be seeing you on that video. See you soon.